Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So I'm here tonight with some empties. I have three haul videos. And I think in this empties, I'm gonna do some like bath and body care products. Just because I happen to just clean those out. So first from Super Tart Scrooge, which is sweater weather and cactus and sea salt. I got this last year. This is really good. I actually get more of the cactus and sea salt than I do the sweater weather, but it is a really good, just clean, fresh scent. You really pick up on the cactus and sea salt with a hint of, I guess it's a sweater weather. It does not smell like the Bath and Body Works soup to me. It just kind of has like this clean type scent. Buttermint ice cream, buttermint blended with deliciously creamy vanilla ice cream. This is really good. I melted this at night. It smells just like it does on cold. You get the, that buttermint note. I'm not super strong, but it definitely is a room filler, and it's um, soft. It's a soft scent, and it's great for bedtime. Love that one. Both of these are repurchases. Buffy, this one I'm a little unsure about. I really wanted to melt this to see if I wanted to get it again. I love the lemon. It's definitely like the most year's lemon. I got hints of the rosemary mint, like mint, like whiffs here and there, but I didn't get enough of the rosemary mint for me to want to purchase the scent again. So I liked it, but I would not repurchase that. This one I've been dying to talk about. Uh, Oklahoma blueberry filled biscuits. I saw that Kim talked about this scent, and we actually discussed this via text. She doesn't smell like that biscuit bakery note. I do. In fact, this is the one that I said I would um, use one cube of. Super, super freaking strong. The blueberry is an amazing blueberry, and I swear you could smell the salt and butter from the biscuits. My husband even made a comment about it. We were sitting next to the warmer, and he came and sat down. He's like, you know, you can smell like something, and I'm like, yeah, like butter and salt, and he's like, yeah, like you could really smell the biscuits. So, I did pick up the bakery in this. I definitely got the biscuit scent and the blueberry. This is amazing. Definitely a repurchase. I do have backups of that one. Polar Express from Super Tarts. This is um, hot cocoa, raspberries, and whipped cream, I think. This one, I can't open. This one, this one, this one. It's got that floral raspberry in there. I think with more chocolate in there, it would be good. I thought I liked it. I ordered another one actually, which I have sitting here because I have no place to put it. And I'll melt it, but it, it's something that I would not get again. The throw was okay on that, but. All right, from Scentsy Shimmer, I love this. I'm gonna actually look for a soap in this. It smells so good. I don't know what's in here. Scentsy's like a whole jab of crap that never ends up smelling like what it says it does. This is just a really pretty scent that I used in the bedroom. Um, I would wear this as a perfume for sure, so it's just pretty. After I finished a three pack of heart tarts, I don't know, these were um, Teddy Tarts and Rosemary Mint from Tiffany Candles. It still has some scoopables and maybe some other things with this one. Uh, I was just on your site looking for heart tarts. You're going to see it at the haul from Tiffany's today. But this is my favorite scent. As far as rosemary's mint goes, this is my favorite rosemary mint scent ever. Nobody has, the, this. she has the best rosemary mint. I haven't seen Tiffany's being hauled that often and I don't understand why. I get a really good throw from her stuff. Um, granted, I tend to use, not with this scent, but with some scents I'll use the whole three pack, but I do that with vintage sheep scents also. So I don't know, I, I really get a great throw and she has great scents, so I would really highly recommend her. From Ava's Country Covered Watermelon Lemonade. I did the first ice cream scoop when I first got this. I got it in July sometime and it did not throw. I did it again and it had a much better throw. Definitely medium to high. That seems I don't know what happened here with this. Um, Phantom of the Opera from Vintage Chic Scents. This was poured in November. It's only February and I say that because typically for Vintage Chic Scents, a year is perfect for me and this threw like mad it's a bakery for sure um caramel cookie maybe cinnamon snickerdoodle i don't know i don't know what's in here but it was very bakery very cinnamony i got some caramel i loved it and i think 
when I talk about Dracula, this is the one that I really loved because I had this a long time ago. If you go back like a year plus, I had a ton of vintage cheap scents hauls. But once I started working, um, it just became harder to order from her. But the, the, oh, it was phenomenal for the, the new age. Also from Tiffany's, I have the Eucalyptus Spearmint. This one was really good. I had a cold for about two weeks, which I'm still getting over, and that's why um, it's more in my throat now. <clears throat> but that's why I didn't do this earlier, and I didn't melt a lot, so I don't have a lot. But this was amazing. It was really soothing. I loved it. I will get that again. I was browsing heart tarts. Um, I just have to figure out the five that I want the most, and that's been really hard, actually. From Sugar and Spice Strawberry White Cake. It's like every other strawberry white cake. It's the same oil. It's just, you know, it smells the same from every vendor. I liked it. It threw really strong. I love that scent. From Scoopable Tart Wax, Monster Cookie Noel. This was amazing. This is not Scoopable Wax. It's just her wax and scent shots. Um, it threw amazing. Amazing. You really picked up the... Vanilla Bean Noel along with a Monster Cookie. It's such a great, comforting bakery scent. Just a couple more things. Bella, no. Family Stone from Super Tars. This is from last year. This is, um, it's like a light bakery cinnamon and Vanilla Bean Noel. This is amazing. It is just a Vanilla Bean Noel bakery cinnamon, sweet cinnamon scent. Very good, not super strong, but it is a room filler. You can smell it when you walk into the room, and I love this scent. Again, it's something that I'd melt all year round. Another one from Vintage Chic Scents. This is old. This is probably from... Oh, no, that's old. <laughs> it is from 2014. So it's two years old. It's the Warrens. This threw really, really well. And had I known it was going to throw as good as it did, I wouldn't have done all three of the flowers. It's an apple cider donut scent, and I really just got a nice bakery apple cider scent. I forgot how much I really enjoyed this, um, but this is definitely a vintage melt. I don't really have too many new things. I do have a haul from Vintage Chic Scents that I'm going to be doing, but other than that, I don't have too many new items. But I see she's opening on Sunday, and I think I should be home on Sunday, so. Game over from Rose Girls. I forgot what was in here. Satsuma. A raspberry. So it's not, and what else? It's very fruity. Um, just a super fruity scent. It was really good. I did this. I melted a lot of this. I had a lot of chunks. And I just, I loved it. When I put it in, it was just very bright and fun. And I would definitely repurchase. I think everything I melted, I would repurchase. I think, except... Polar Express. Everything else would be a repurchase for me, right? And Buffy. So everything else would be a repurchase. It was great. Good throw. Um, game over. It was actually a phenomenal throw. One chunk in my warmer went throughout the downstairs and filled the room. So it was fantastic. And then for the like bath and body or whatever. I don't really do bath and body, but hand soaps. Love story from Sensi. I got this a while ago. Um, I love this scent. It is seriously my favorite Scentsy scent, and I can't buy it anymore. I haven't looked to see if they have any, like, other products, but if they have the hand soap again, I will get it. I do have the body wash, but body washes, I, like, rotate, like, a lot. So it takes forever for me to get through a body wash or a lotion or anything for that matter. But this is definitely something I would repurchase. I'm going to look to see if it's available. I'm also going to look to see what they have in Shimmer. For perfume, I finished up my Ed Hardy. I love this. I blend it. Like you blend wax, I blend this with all my perfumes. Like every perfume I have. I, today I actually wore this with Burberry, and you think that would be like a weird scent, but it was really good. Uh, Dancing Waters from Bath & Body Works. This is my last hand soap, and I like the gentle foaming hand soap better than the like hard stuff. But I'm out, and I don't go when it's on sale. So... I'm hoping, and I do need some, so tomorrow I'm going to go. I'm hoping it's on sale, and I'll get whatever is cheaper. But I love the smell of this one. It's so pretty, and it, like, lasts 
it lasts all day. Not all day, but it lasts a long time for soap. So I love that. Um, let's see. For hair, I did the Moroccan Oil Shampoo and Conditioner. This is my second favorite. I recently discovered a new brand that I love, and I can't wait to talk to you guys about it because everything is like, it's all botanical. It's all like clean. Um, and since I've been using it, my hair is phenomenal. This did a great job, but the stuff I'm using now is even better. Some Moroccan oil, love them both. They're still always going to be favorites. I have the oils and the setting sprays and whatnot um, in the bathroom still because I don't use that much oil. And the price isn't bad considering it's a salon product, so happy with those. Definitely a repurchase for me. Tresemme dry shampoo. This I did not like. I have to use dry shampoo because I've got super blonde hair. Um, so my hair products are super important and this sucked. Um, for one, I, it didn't do anything. Um, and for two, it says, you know, what does it say? It leaves no residue. That's a lie. It does leave residue. Um, for my face, I use Nerium. Um, everybody knows that I love this, that I talk to. It's an amazing product. I am going to try something new because I love this product, but the thing that sucks is if you don't dampen your face just the right way, it doesn't work. Like, it doesn't... I don't know how to explain it. You'd have to use it, but it is an amazing product. It's something I would definitely consider using for the rest of my life if this new stuff that I'm going to try doesn't turn out and I'll talk about that when I get to that so that's that and then I just wanted to talk about the lotions I'm going to be using from vendors um because I'm out and I it was a Bath and Body Works um what was it endless weekend so it was beautiful days I used that all up so that's gone so I'm gonna do the melting dead Lizzie I got this from my tape <clears throat> And then Juliet is a son from Vintage Chic Scents. I've had this forever, so I have to excuse it. But this, and I've been using it, a little really goes a long way. And this is like, I don't know, it's kind of old. It still smells really great and fresh. And it still leaves my skin feeling amazing. So I'm going to be using that. And this I'll throw in my bag for work because it's so small and you can take these anywhere. This body cream that smells like peaches, and then it's got like a really pretty floral note in there. I love this one. So yeah, that's that video, guys. I will be back in about five minutes, your time, maybe 15. I don't know how fast this is going to upload with my Glitterati haul. So I'll see you guys in a bit.